making it an extremely dangerous opponent on the battlefield. The construction of an entirely new class of main battle tank by Israel, a tiny country, is certainly a major achievement. By the time of the Merkava's introduction Israel had already fought three wars in which it was outnumbered by much larger Arab tank forces. Combined with a tiny general population in which even minor personnel losses were felt across society, the Israeli military envisioned a tank which prioritized defensive capabilities and firepower above all else. The Merkava has excellent protection. Its turret and frontal hull area are sharply faceted to present maximum armored protection at all angles, giving the turret a knife-like edge. The tank's engine is in the front of the hull, placing a large, dense mass between enemy fire and the crew. The armor believed to be some kind of new type of hybrid armor, and is modular so individual sections can be rapidly replaced. Most importantly though, it has the Trophy Active Protective System, a combination of sensors and a shotgun-like weapon capable of downing rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank guided missiles. The Challenger 2 equips the British Army's Tank Corps. Although based on the older Challenger 1, Extensive redesigns resulted in a tank with only 5% parts commonality with its predecessor. Unique among tanks of the world, Challenger 2 is still equipped with a rifled barrel, the 120mm L30 gun. Challenger 2 is considered one of the best protected tanks in the world, equipped with second generation Chobber Marmor, a composite matrix of ceramic and metal with superior qualities over typical steel rolled homogeneous armor. The result is tank armor capable of defeating both kinetic energy and high explosive anti-tank rounds. The UK is currently planning on upgrading Challenger 2 and is evaluating equipping it with an active protection system similar to the Israeli Trophy. The last in a long line of tanks stretching back to the late 1940s, the T-90 is the most advanced common tank in Russian ground forces inventory. The T-90 can trace its roots to the T-54 medium tank, and is most directly related to the D-72 T-80 series of tanks. Russia currently operates hundreds T-90 as, enough to fully equip one tank and one motor rifle division. The T-90A is tops among tanks for long-range lethality. Although the 125mm 2A46M main gun is less effective than its western peers, especially the Reimdahl 120mm L44 smoothbore gun, it is lethal at longer ranges thanks to its ability to fire anti-tank missiles from the gun tube. The 9M119M reflex laser guided missile gives the T-90A the ability to penetrate 700mm of rolled homogeneous armor equivalent with a high degree of accuracy at ranges of up to 3.1 miles. The M1 Abrams main battle tank is the standard tank of the US Army and US Marine Corps. Since its introduction in the late 1970s, the M1 has undergone a steady stream of upgrades, from the introduction of the German-designed 120mm gun to the addition of depleted uranium armor and networking capabilities such as Blue Force Tracker. The M1 stands out on this list as the undisputed king of the post-Cold War era. It sets the standard for the ideal combination of firepower, protection and mobility. While other tanks may be good if not just as good, they don't have the battle record to back it up. The M1 Abrams tank has fought in two major conflicts, the 1991 Persian Gulf War and 2003-2010 Iraq War, destroying scores of enemy tanks without a single loss to Iraqi tanks. And the best one, the